Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I have to put out a video. And before I do, I want to ask how many remember when I would say, let us all be ready to go and you know what we have to do. We have to, excuse me, love God first and most, love one another. Obey his word. Do good to those that you can. Because it's whatever you do for somebody else. It's like doing it for Jesus. Well, all that's truth. It is truth. These are the things we need to do. And I have in the past put up videos asking for contributions, donations, love offerings, whatever you want to call them. For Morella, who lives in Ecuador, we prayed for her for the flooding, remember? Well, God spared their area, and they did not get flooded out. Praise the Lord. Well, she has to just beg month to month, and she's been able to get money from other sources. And now, because of the fuel fights and trucks being blocked and uh, there were what do you call it protests going on and for a while they kept the fuel prices down and now I guess they've gone them back up and that affects the costs of food so they need more per month to, to feed five mouths she has two little ones that stay with her ex that she has to support because he doesn't work. Then she has the two older boys that are from her marriage. That she's an American. And then herself. Her rent is less because they had to move. So praise God, her rent went down and the food went up. So she needs $1,200 a month to live. Now, here in America, you, you can probably do pretty good on that. And they can do pretty good on that. But that's including clothes. They outgrow clothes. And supplies for school. Because you got to have paper and pencils. The stuff breaks, the pencils break, or they wear out. And it might only be a dollar, but you know how it is. A dollar here, a dollar there, so-and-so. This one needs underwear, this one needs socks. It adds up. I don't have to tell you mamas. Four children and herself. So I'm asking you to please consider helping out. And if you want to, you PayPal it to me. I collect it all up and then I send it to MoneyGram in one, one amount. I don't know why they have a problem with her getting... Like PayPal, you can send 5 or 10 or 20, and they don't tell you, oh, she's already received 5 gifts this month. That's all she can get. That's what they do down there to her. I don't get it unless it's because it's an international thing. Again, she lives in Ecuador, and I have a list on my home you call it with your home page all my videos that are in in a list and I have a list of who Morella is for you new people um, they probably should be the one on there telling her story how she got down there which is so wrong and I'm it just upsets me that the United States government has not been able to help her get back up here to the states 
where she could face that man in court and make him pay child support. But they won't, because he's friends with a judge. And in this country, it's not what you, it's not what you know. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not what you know or what should be. It's all about who you know, whether things get done or not. That happens in a lot of cases. So please, please, please understand this woman is a genuine need. This ministry, mine, has been, one person has been taking care of her and now what he can give is no longer enough. She has to have more than what he can give. And I can't make up the difference. I, I used to be able to do more, but I have at, but I'm on so many more supplements. Man, and they have gone up. I was like so amazed from one month to the next, something I paid around 13 maybe 18 it might have been higher in the teens it's now 26 dollars and some it's called calm and it has magnesium lavender oil and lemon balm magnesium i mean come on but it's supposed to help my heart and helps you sleep well anyway that's just one example so imagine for over five people, all their needs, I am sure a lot of their stuff has gone up. And if y'all haven't noticed it in the grocery store, consider yourself blessed because it hasn't hit your area yet. I know it has here because I get less for my money, but not real bad. Anyway, excuse me, that's one of my timers going off. I, I'm, I'm through asking, and it's between you and the Lord. You have to take it up with him. And I pray that we just can think about maybe, for those of you who have some to spare, please help us to help Morella. Okay, and oh, it's, you don't send it through Jeannie Hardesty at Gmail. It has to be JLM for him. I'll find out my PayPal link and put it in there. I have to go to PayPal and find out what it is, but you can send it through JLM for him at att.net. That's my sign in, I think that's what she used. It's been so long since I asked. Anyway, um, so I'm going to end this here and I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and pray that Jesus will be pleased. I hope, you know, I hope that doesn't offend, it should not offend anybody. If, if you don't have it, you don't have it. The Lord knows your heart. The Lord knows it. If you have some in savings, you can, when you go to heaven, that money's going to sit in the bank. It's not going with you. We don't need money in heaven. Praise the Lord. So I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and our devices and all of our internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. Talk to you later.